General Motors on Safari. Here is Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> and danger. <laughs> Bringing you the African bush belt of today and yesterday in dramatized fact, fiction, and true life documentary. General Motors on Safari. The chorus of birds heralds the dawn in the African bushveld. The sun's rays slant across the plain, filtering through the branches of the trees. And on the branch of one of these trees, Straining it to near breaking point, balances a gigantic nest. Flying busily in and out of the holes, the most gregarious of all birds, the social weavers. All manner of creatures emerge into the sunlight. From the river, from holes, from bushes and trees. A family of baboons... Darting quick glances in every direction goes out in search of food. The sun, poised for a moment on the highest peak of the distant mountain range, rises swiftly, staining the river red and gold. And high above the water saw two fish weasels. And in the water, rising indignantly to survey the sea with two enormous saucer-like eyes, the snorting hippos. is life, the priceless possession, and the banks of this river are scored with myriad imprints, the colossal print of the elephant, the claw mark of the lion, the more delicate spoor of the hemsbok and the zebra, the water buck, the eland and the springbok. In the distance, the shaggy silhouettes of a parade of wildebeest, with their clowns demeanour, their whirling tails, their curious sideways shake of the head. A troop of ostriches, the ballet dancers of the felt, moved down towards the water, already muddied by the henceforth of the zebra. <laughs> The 
warning stalk from a henspot, and again stampede. The king of beasts stalks along the bank of the river, magnificently furious to lesser creatures. The king stands stock still, shut out of rage. drinks, he's watched by a family of Semenka monkeys. side of the river, a herd of elephants ambles slowly down to the water's edge. With monumental unconcern, they move majestically towards the river, and even the king of beasts will not dispute their priority. each other, splash each other, drinking and washing, filling their trunks with water and squirting it over their backs. Downstream, two large eyes emerge from the water and then disappear beneath the surface once again. rising at a prudent distance, waiting for the moment when they can safely return to the river. Perched on a nearby tree, a trumpeter hornbill watches the scene. One by one, the elephants amble off, until one solitary elephant remains, his trunk raised to heaven as though in supplication. the game moves towards the water's edge.
high overhead now. A few yards from the bank lies the carcass of a dead elephant. Sickness? Poacher's bullets? Who knows? And certainly the vultures do not die. Taken their pickings, leaving the pathetic remnants to the fly. drowsy under the Mopani trees. Behind a small hillock, the lion sleeps. Crocodiles bask in the sun on the banks of the river, and though one of them is disturbed by a movement in the nearby reeds and snaps his jaws menacingly. The snort less frequently. The heat is stifling, and the distant mountain range is seen through a haze. Beneath a tree on the water's edge, a family of cheetahs purr contentedly. just to keep away the flies. Heat, breath, sleep. The drama is never far away. Suddenly, among a peaceful herd of impala, a fight breaks out. Two males disputing leadership, perhaps. Their clashing horns resound over the place. to and fro as far as the eye can see. daintily around the edge of the water, and the high-pitched barking cries of the zebra mingle with the cry of the birds at the sun within the sea. A herd of springbok makes its leisurely way down to the river, 
their white bellies caught in the last glinting rays of the sun. The river changes color from green gold to purple, from purple to scarlet. And as the sun sets behind the mountains, the colors fade until the river is flecked with gold. The springboks drink at the water's edge. And on a nearby tree sits a chanting goshawk. <laughs> Further upstream, a troop of baboons moves towards the river. There's a slight movement in the reeds. There, the stealthy silhouette of a leopard moving along the bank of the river. The sun has set. For a moment, all is peace except for the cry of the bird. dark now. The moon, a glowing blood-red orb, rises swiftly to illuminate the scene. In the distance, the hyena and the jackal set up their mournful cry. behind and is soon on his own. He's about to rejoin his companions when he suddenly stands stock still, transfixed by the menacing gleam of a leopard. He lets out a strangled cry before the leopard attacks. He cannot cry out again for the leopard has him by the throat, playing with him, worrying. drags the remains into the fork of a tree on the bank of the river. Nature keeps its own ruthless balance. The game keeps a watchful eye out for the enemy. trots down to the river. its way down to the water's edge with that peculiar slow motion movement. And placing his front legs as far apart as they will go, he bends his long neck down to the water. Suddenly an enormous silhouette overshadows the river, then another and another. And soon a herd of elephants are standing knee high in the water. Thank you. 
hyena, braver than the others, moves closer to the water. But a large bull elephant drives him away with his massive front legs, <laughs> rather like a circus elephant about to perform. <laughs> family of velvet monkeys watch from a nearby tree. The last ablutions completed, the elephants amble off one by one into the darkness. up to the water's edge. There's a slight movement. The lioness is back. Slinking along at first, crouching every few yards, she selects her prey. The wildebeest are blissfully unaware of the approaching danger, for she's downwind. She crouches down behind a small hillock. Now, she inches forward again. Closer. Closer. She charges. The rest of the herd scatters and one wildebeest turns to escape the lioness. As he moves too slowly, the lioness jumps up at his flanks and brings him down. She's biting, scratching, tearing away the flesh. The lioness is joined by the rest of the pride. Her mate, three cubs, and a young lion who doesn't wait for his father to select the best parts. The lion, jealous of his rights, forces the young one to wait his turn. The fight breaks out. Their fill, sleep by the carcass, eat again, sleep again. Presumptuous jackal tries to take a share. But the lion chases him away, and those frustrated pallbearers, the hyena and the jackal, set up a mournful chorus. that will not live to see another day. The 
will the best come back to the river, perhaps not aware, and perhaps not remembering that one of their number is dead. And slowly, the rest of the game come down to drink as the sun rises again on the African bush. <laughs> Join us again next week for another story of the African bushveld. It might be fact, it might be fiction in General Motors on Safari. Brought to you by General Motors South African, manufacturers of Cadillac, Buick, Oldsmobile, Pontiac, Chevrolet, Beaumont, Vauxhall, Opel, Holden, Bedford, and GMC Motor Vehicles.